Okay, I'm gonna attempt to record this. It's just it's really tight place. So what I did is strip back my wires and then I used the cotton string in there to pull it back. Cut it free. And I'm gonna twist up the green and brown because I'm not gonna not gonna utilize those. So just to let you know, there's always that potentiality of getting shocked with telephone lines whenever a phone call rings into it. It rings in with roughly 90 to 110 uh, volts DC. So it'll, it'll knock your socks loose. So just remember that when you're dealing with it. After what I see here, I'm just re just re stripping everything back. Here. So whenever you're dealing with a security and a fire alarm system, fire alarm always takes precedence over the security as far as uh, line seizure because life safety is more important. So to a security guy, he thought, well, my security system is more important. Let me move that wire out of the way so it's getting in. They've been monkeying with this. I want you to notice what I'm doing here. So I don't cross the line back over itself because that'll cut it. There you go, tighten it down. But I put it in there so as I tighten it, it will pull it into it. If you put it the other way, as you tighten it, it'll push it away from it. See, that's that's in there. That ain't going nowhere. Oops. That's what I'm saying. This is pretty tight. Sorry about all this, guys. I'm just trying to. Trying to give you a good video. I'm sorry about that. It's just something that I don't know that a lot of people understand when they first get in. Good. So, this, what I'm hooking up. I took everything loose and I checked it with my butt set. This is uh, the white and blue right here. It has a dial tone on it with my butt set. That's a telephone, like a portable telephone. You need to get one of those. Uh, and I've got dial tone there. So this is where it's coming from the block. I'll show you in the video where the block is. Um, so I'm bringing dial tone into my fire alarm system on this red and green. And it sends it back out on this gray and brown. The technical term is slate whenever you're doing, I used to be a telephone man, so gray is not, not the term, it's the slate. See how they had that one twisted around it? Okay, so, see how that wire is showing copper? This is all kinds of trouble waiting to happen right there. Because it'll hang up. That's what they were complaining of. So what you just going to do, is just take the wires and pull it back. I mean, they use about the cheapest wire you can get. They don't even have a pull string in it. So what I'm doing here, I'm just holding the wires, pull the jacket, and as you can see, it don't strip the wire now.
and my panel just recognized dial tone so it you heard that click that's it saying okay I'm satisfied and it can't hear dial tone it looks at voltage guys so I think it's uh, around 50 volts or something like that that it was looking for Uh, on the security here, first thing I'm going to hook up is uh, pack going back to the uh, alarm system. Normally use B connectors on telephone stuff just because whenever you do wire nuts, sometimes they twist off. But I don't have no B connectors with me, so I'm going to use wire nuts. I'm just going to be a little cautious with it. I'm you know, stripping it and so on and so forth. So I'm making sure I'm not nicking the wire. So as I twist the wires together. So I'm always going to check for dial tone at the very end, all the way through the whole the whole system. Make sure that I've got my dial tone. Okay, so I've got my feed over to my block now, wired in. I'll show you that's what it looks like. That orange and white, that's my pair going back to my 66 block. This is the pair going to the fire alarm. And that white and black is coming back. So that way the fire, uh, excuse me, the security system is coming back on the white and black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my red and green, land it right here. Remember, red and green is tip and ring. So I'm going to land that on top of gray and brown. So what that's going to do, it's going to allow my fire alarm to grab the, grab the telephone line if it needs it. It'll allow the uh, security system to grab it uh, if it needs it. But last but not least, the fax line will get it. So what was happening before is every time uh, fax, they had it wired up so that the fax, whenever it picked it up, dial tone went away from the fire alarm system, which made it start trying to grab the grab the line. If you do it this way, you won't have too many troubles. Telephone. And again, I'm paying attention to how my screw is going to turn. I don't know if my hand's in the way of that or not. And I'll show you after I get screwed in. This video's getting kind of long for me. I don't, I don't do videos this long anymore. Okay, so you want to make sure that your jacket, your insulation, it's not what's hitting on there. It needs to be copper. I'm going to say it again. Don't twist it back on itself. So now you got line seizure hooked up. So I'm going to check my voltage now. I got my butt set. I've got to get in. Get the cable unwound on it. Push the button to say, hey, I want to check the tone here. Dial tone there. Dial tone there. 
So that tells me it goes to the security system and back successfully. And so this is the this is where it is. Holy cow. Alright, I'm gonna have to go a little deeper into this because the way they did with those wire nuts. So I'm gonna end the video.